Thank you so much for having sacrificed to be here. Asante kwa sababu umefanya video kaingia mahali hapa. I was not in church today. Akwa kanisani leo hii. Was ministering at Life Source International Church. Alikuwa na hudumu katika kanisa Life Source. But we made sure that everything is in order. Lakini walihakikisha kwamba mayote yako sawa. May that honor you give me follow you. Wacha hiyo heshima ambayo umenipa ikakufuate. If there will be any given day when you will ever need God. Kama kuna wakati wote unaweza hitaji Mungu. Let the heavens remember that you served your pastor. Wacha mbingu ikumbuke kwamba ulitumia you can take your seats in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wa- as you would honor me, unaponyeshimo, kindly help me honor my wife. Nikubalie nimheshimu hata mke wangu. Hallelujah. I tell you the way you came as a worshipper, your life is going to change. Isaiah 40 verse 6. A voice said, shout. I asked, what should I shout? People are like the grass that dies away their beauty fades as quickly as the beauty of flowers in the field amen, amen. and again father we thank you for the reading of your word then baba tunakushukuru kwa kusoma neno lako we pray for the relevance in this revelation tunaomba kwamba ufunuo wako kadhirike in jesus best name katika jina safi la yesu amen amen hallelujah hallelujah isaiah chapter 40 isaiah amlango wa 40 he has served the lord right from chapter 1 amemtumikia mungu kutoka mlango wa kwanza chapter 39 baka mlango wa 39 God is using him. Hata kama Mungu anamtumia. He is not confident enough to define his ministry. Atakuwa na ujasiri wa kutambulisha huduma yake. He cannot tell who he really is. Hawezi sema yeye ni nani. And that's why he can shift from there. Ndio sababu anatoka mahali pale. The other extent. Anaenda katika kiwango kingine. He is looking for a place where he can be recognized. Kwa sababu anatambua mahali ambapo anaweza tambulika. Even when after the the purpose has been accomplished. Hata kama waka baada ya kuzudi kutimia. He misses sense in his ministry. Anakosa maana na katika huruma yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now came to chapter 40. Oh, wakati unakuja mlango wa 40. God comes to Isaiah as usual. Mungu anamwendea Isaya kawaida. And he tells Isaiah. Na anamwambia Isaya. I charge you with this. Ninakutopea hili. Cry. Lia. In other words, prophesy. Kwa maneno mengine tabiri. In other words, teach the word. Kwa maneno mengine funza neno. Words, sing to kwa the altar. Kwa maneno mengine imba kwa madhabahu. In other words, play the keyboard. Kwa maneno mengine cheza kinanda. Play the drums. But Isaiah is like come on God. Lakini Isaiah anamwambia Mungu. I know it is a good thing. Najua ni jambo mbema. So need to obey you. Need to obey you. When you command me to do something. Wakati unaniamrisha nikatende. Lakini leo hii. God today. Mungu leo hii. You must tell me exactly what to do. Lazima niambie kila ambacho nitalia. He comes to an extent when he's like come on God I respect you. Anakuja kwangu anasema Mungu ninakuheshimu. But this time lakini wakati huo so that I can make sense. Ili kwamba nikafanye umaana. Teach me what to cry. Nifunze tikini ni ya kulia. Tell me exactly what to prophesy. Niambie ni nini cha kutabiri. I don't want to go on the on the street. Siwezi sitaki kwenda kwa miji. Just walking all over. Nikitembea kila mahali. I prophesy. Natabiri. By next year such time as this. Wakati umefika. You shall be pregnant of a husband you don't know. Unaweza kuwa na mimba ya mwanamume ambaye hujui ninatabiri God people will ask me Moa watu wataniuliza Mungu What shall you prophesy Utatabiri nini What shall I answer them Mimi nitajibu nini If people will ask me Ikiwa watu wataniuliza What are you singing Wewe unaimba nini What shall I tell them Nitawaambia nini God tell me what to sing Mungu niambie cha kuimba Now what to sing Kile cha kuimba is what we call the ministry Ndio tunaita huduma Ministry is given to the ministers Huduma inapewa kwa wahudumu Ministers are messengers Wahudumu ni wajumbe Messengers are carriers of a message Wajumbe ni wa kubeba ujumbe In other words you do not qualify to be a messenger utaitimika kuwa mjumbe you have the message Baka uwe na ujumbe ah, Hallelujah The reason you fail to make sense at some point Sababu inafanya ufanye umana wakati It's mwingine you don't have what to offer. ni kwa sababu una la kupeana ask your neighbor neighbor uliza jirani yako jirani you have what to offer uko na kila ambacho unachapeana uko na kila ambacho unachapeana i'm really sorry that sometimes we step on the altar na unawahurumia kwa wengine wakati wote tunaingia kwa madhabahu and the everything you can hear from your mouth na kila ambacho utasikia kutoka kwa kinywa chako it is praise god praise god praise god bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe kiona mwimbaji ameenda kwa madhabahu Nani praise God hallelujah praise God hallelujah Hana cha kuambia what are you able to define what he called you to do Unaweza kutambulisha kila ambacho amekuita ufanye Isaiah is like come on tell me exactly what it is Isaiah anamwambia Mungu niambie kile ambacho nataka nilie Some people 
in as much they appear everywhere. Have you ever been to those churches where mtu ako kwa keyboard, anatoka mara ako kwa microphone, ndio yuko kwa drum set, then anataka kukua asha, and you are everywhere. Wewe uko kila mahali. There is no way you can be everywhere. Hakuna njia unaweza kuwa kila mahali. And find yourself somewhere. Na ujipate mahali. Now oh. ministry is divine. Huduma ni ya kiungo. It is given to the divine people. Inapewa na watu ambao ni wa kiungo. You can never get the divine ministry. Huwezi pata huduma ya kiungo. Unless you are divine. Mpaka uwe wa kiungo. Now for you to be able to connect with the divine. Ili ukaweze kuunganika na uungu. You must be a seeker of God. Lazima uwe anaye mtafuta Mungu. But we have a problem in our church. Lakini tuko na shida kanisani. We have puppets on the altar. Tuna watu ambao wa kumbagabao. We have Tom and Jerry on the altar. Tuko Tom na Jerry matabauni. The cartoons that do not know how to break their knees. Viponzo ambao hawajui jinsi ya kukunja magoti yao. We can see God. Watu ambao wakimtafuta Mungu. Now tell me how you expect the presence of God. Niambie jinsi unaweza tangupata uwepo wa Mungu. In our worship services. Katika hali yetu ya kuabudu. They will be dry. Itakauka. Come on ladies and gentlemen. Wapendwa. They will be dry. Itakuwa imekauka. Our worship services will be dry. Ibada yetu ya kuabudu itakuwa imekauka. The secret is not hidden in the vocals. Siri haijajiunda ndani ya sauti. The secret is not hidden in the vocals. Yaani siri haiko ndani ya sauti. The secret is hidden in the ministry. Siri imejificha ndani ya huduma. You are what or value? Wewe una udha mana it is in the ministry you are carrying iko ndani ya huduma umebeba it is not in your vocal si kwa sauti yako nzuri haleluya haleluya the reason you hear this man preaches sababu unasikia huyu mtu anahubiri that is pastor john preaching huyu ni pastor mtu mwachi john anahubiri preach of neneve katika 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 miji ya neneve thou shall die wenye mtakufa thou shall die ninyi mtakufa and he is negatively received na ina anapokelewa vibaya it is because he has not put his ministry in order ni kwa sababu hajaweka huduma yake kwa mpangilio there is an order by which we need to put our ministry kuna mpangilio yafaa tuweke huduma yetu ministry is divine huduma ni ya kiungo the only way you can access divine njia pekee ya kupokea uongo it is when you learn to pray ni wakati unajifunza kuomba it is when you learn to fast ni wakati unajifunza kujifunza you pray for your ministry ukiombea huduma yako has there been a day when you ever told god kuna wakati ambapo umeambia mungu what shall i sing Nitaimba nini? What am I going to do on the altar? Nitatenda nini katika madhabahu? Because when God gives you what to say. Kwa sababu Mungu akikupa cha kusema. What he call the ministry. Hiyo ndio inaitwa huduma. You seek him. Unamtafuta. You find him. Unampata. He services you. Anakuhudumia wewe. Before you go to serve. Ili kwendo kutumika. So you stand on the altar. Wakati unasimama kwa madhabahu. Just want to talk about two aspects here. Nataka kutuongea mawili hapa. What shall I cry? Nitalia nini? and how shall i cry nantalia jizipi hallelujah hallelujah the what to sing is with god neno la kuimba liko na mungu but now the how to sing lakini jinsi ya kuimba it is not with god aiko na mungu it is with men iko kwa wanadamu god has put it in place mungu ameiweka there are men who can sing kuna watu wanaweza imba what you are singing ambayo unaimba but better than you are singing lakini vyema kuliko vile unaimba there are people who can sing kuna watu wanaweza imba what you can't sing kila ambacho wezi imba lakini Mungu anatamania when you partner with wakati unaunganisha na watu namna hiyo you have better than what you have unaanza kuifanya na kuwa nzuri kile ulicho nacho jina la Yesu libarikiwe you find yourself unachipata arriving in your office in time ukiingia katika ofisi yako mapema relevance unafanya umaana but the problem today lakini shida leo hii with our music ministers in the house au imbaji wetu katika nyumba the best of the friends they have au marafiki wema It is what we we are school the shikanda ni wale wanaitwa shik and shikanda we you walk with the shikanda you can dala hallelujah hallelujah surely how can you be in a pentecostal church as of this kind and the best of the friends you have in the praise and worship partnership ni watu wametoka lejo maria how do you expect it to make sense wewe utafanyaje umaana who are you partnering wewe unaunganika na nani your values in your ministry 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While I was in the praise and worship some years, notice there were a lot of noises with a lot of musicians. And because you know I've produced a CD. I've done this. Now we walk in a different manner. To, to suggest we are the best in Kayole. But I noticed something about it. They were mouthy. When God commanded me to plant a church, Pastor Titus is a testimony. Um, I told all the musicians in Kayole. I don't want you in my church. And I don't want you in my crusade. Did, did, they, did, they, come come first, did they come? When you lack the significance in your ministry. You start going everywhere. Even when God is processing you in the church, it becomes difficult for you to accept the process of God. You feel like the pastor is becoming hard on you. You walk out. Let me tell you what you didn't overcome when you were here. It will still overcome you where you are going. Because it is not about this pastor. It is about divinity. Accept to stay on the furnace. It might be hot, yes. But say, come on, go. I know one thing. You don't eat the amafulu. You eat the glory. It is painful here. But I will stay here until they see my fault. Man. The problem we have in our churches. The music ministers we have. They are running away from the process of God. Unless we put some discipline in our ministry, we will never make sense. Amen. Watu wanasaidika siku za kina Kigame siku za kina Ibrahim Osborne siku za kina no Grace Keverenge the flow of the spirit in the house lakini wewe unaimba hicho kwadi unaimba hii nyingine unaimba hiyo nyingine lakini bado pepo ya homa inakuangalia when in real sense there has got to be healing in the house even a pastor comes Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The how to cry is with the man. Now the men you are competing with. There are people who are supposed to be helping you. The men you are fighting with. There are people who are supposed to be helping you. They have the resources. Some of them they may not know how to sing. But they have the resources. To support you. Ya kusimama na wewe ili ukaweze kuinuliwa lakini wewe umekosa kukupaliana na wao ndio sababu unaimba nyimbo kumi kwa madhabahu lakini hakuna mdhiriko tutafute Mungu kwanza tumpate Mungu kwanza Mungu atutumikie ndipo tukue na ujasiri wa kwenda kuwatumikia watu wa Mungu otherwise utaanza kusema hii kanisa imenizoea hii kanisa watu wamenisoya that's why nikiimba hata waonangi sense ndani yangu huyu ndugu amekuja ni ndugu mgeni sasa huyu ndo pasta amaamua kufanya namna gani kurigogo na sio hivyo huyo mtu wako na kitu kinge bado uko nacho wewe lakini amekiorganize there has got to be a process and order for us to qualify to give life ili kutukaitumisha kupeana uzima let us proof let watu wote uhakikishe carrying the life I want to finish on that. Can I stand up before I finish so that I can pray for you? Because I know there is a program ahead of us. He that called to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Had what you call a purpose. And that is the purpose that you have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now if you operate outside that purpose. You lose sense. You fail to make sense. But he's like, now give me room. That I go back with you to the roots. Yes, I know you know how to sing. 
najua ndio unajua jinsi ya kuimba but i want to give you the what to sing lakini nataka kupatia kile cha kuimba so that if i give you the what to sing ikiwa nataka kupatia kile cha kuimba and you apply it in the how that you have na uweze kutenda na jinsi ya mauko nayo you'll be able to make sense to my people utafanya umana kwa watu wangu if you do not know him kama umjoe then that which is divine can never be given to you kile ambacho ni cha kiungu hautapewa miracles begin with relationships ni ujiza inaanza na uhusiano jesus does not come to raise lazarus from the dead because he was merciful yesu akuja kumfufua lazaro kwa sababu alikuwa na huruma he comes to raise lazarus amekuja kumfufua lazaro he was a family friend kwa sababu alikuwa ndio rafiki yake miracles begin with relationships ni ujiza inaanza na uhusiano i see a lot of people here naona watu wengi mahali hapa who admire to be the don moel ambao wanatamani kuwa don moel who admire to be the gloria moliro ambao wanatamani kuwa gloria in really sense lakini kwa uhalisia they do not want to partner hawataki kushirikiana with the divinity na uongo how i wish i had someone ningeomba ningekuwa na mtu mahali hapa aba nasema leo mungu i want to walk in relevance nataka kutembea katika umana that i may be of worth ili kaweza kuwa wa udhamana value can be demonstrated again ili thamana yangu iweze kudhihirika tena i stand up on the altar nitasimama juu ya madhabahu take the microphone say hallelujah ninachukua kipasa sauti nasema Hallelujah. <laughs> Abraham lived. Mali ambapo Ibrahim aliishi. Where there is the worship of idols. Mali ambapo kuna kuabudu sana. Where people do not fear God. Wakmali ambapo watu wamwofu Mungu. We can be in the Kenya. Hatuwezi kuwa Kenya. Where music ministers are messed up. Wakati wa mali waimbaji wamekosa njia. And say though they are messed up. Atasema hata kama wamekosea. I'll be a music minister. Nitakuwa muimbaji. Who will walk in the fear of the Lord. Ambaye nitatembea kwa kumwofu Mungu. I shall allow God. Nitakubali Mungu. Aweze niwekea nidhamu. Nitamkubalia Mungu. Aongoze hatua ya miguu yangu. Kama niko na mtu. Ama anasema Mungu. I want you to ordain my gifts. Nataka uweze kutia wakfu miguu yangu. You will be lifting your hands. Ukdaunua mikono yako. Praying again to God. Unaomba kwa Mungu. You can kneel down. Unaweza weka magoti yako chini. Lie on the floor. Unaweza lala kifudi fudi ndani yake. Naseme Bwana. King for relevance. Ninaomba ukanifanye umwimo. In my music ministry. Katika uimbaji wangu. I know it is good. Unajua ni vizuri. For me to obey you. Ili kwamba nikakuheshimu. You command me to sing. Wakati unaniamurisha niimbe. But before I sing. Lakini kabla sijaimba. So that I don't make fool of myself. Ili nisikaweze kuonekana mjinga. Just singing. Hata nikizimba. I cannot say. Nisiseme. What shall I sing? Nitaimba nini? God give me the significance. Mungu nipe umwimo. Yes you can pray to God. Just for one minute. Just for one minute. Katika dakika moja. And I'll be praying for you. Na nitakuwa niomba naomba. Pray to God. Waomba Mungu. Let it be known by the heavens and the earth. I've spoken this in your name. 